So, <clears throat> you guys on my channel might be able to figure out that I love plushies. So, over the years, for my love of Angry Birds, I've been able to manage and collect to find some of the rarest Angry Bird plushies Rovio and crew ever made. With the Winner Winnerham Redbird, the Walmart Egg Stroid Tag Angry Bird Space plushies, the Hockey Bird Bombard with a White Dot, the Cesarized Pigs, some of them, the Shamrock Redbird, and the very rare <clears throat> Changhee Chang Singapore Airport plush. I have tracked all of these down from across the world. And now, in my hands, I have some of the rarest Angry Bird plushies. Now, to explain what these are, I got my main man, Maximum Overdrive, to do that. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Angry Birds merchandise video, and today, we're going to be talking about the reversibles. Before you consulted me on this topic, I had never even heard of these, the, these reversibles. Thanks for having me, Max. Hey everyone, I'm Lucky, and I'm here to fill you in on these very unique brand of Angry Birds plush. Being a fellow Australian myself, the Reversibles are an Australian market exclusive Angry Birds product released in the light blue era in early 2013. Revio reached a deal with Scanson Brands Australia to create a very strange but interesting product. The function is kind of what you might expect. Each plush appears to be one character, but unzipping the plush at the bottom reveals a greater function. In a sense, these are a two-in-one plush. Upon unzipping your character, you find you can mask the previous character with a secondary character. So at first, it might sound simple. Why is this product so special? Well, besides their initial appearance, when you purchase your reversible, you actually don't know what you're getting inside. Their initial appearance could be a red, it could be a chuck, a bomb, a stella, or a minion pig. But each one has four other plushies that could be inside kind of like a blind bag in a sense, although there is one way of telling which character you're getting, but we'll get to that later. Here are the possible characters you may find in each character. Inside of red, you can find Matilda, the Blues, Bubbles, and Super Space Red. Inside of Chuck, you can find Matilda, the Blues, Bubbles, and Laser Chuck. Inside Bomb, you can find Matilda, the Blues, Bubbles, and Firebomb. Inside of Stella, you can find Matilda, the Blues, Bubbles, and another Stella expression. And as for Minion Pig, you can find a Matilda, the Blues, Bubbles, and a Frozen Pig. You seeing a theme here? Some combinations are considered red, specifically those space examples. Unfortunately, not much is known about the reversibles. Scansan Brands was bought out by Coromco, another Australian toy company, back in July of 2013. So the website company now is operating under that name. This made research, finding images, and footage for this video a tall task. So thank goodness for the Wayback Machine. Also, due to these plushies being an Australian market exclusive, not many people are actually aware or even possess a reversible. Anyways, it So, huge shout out to Maxim's Ore Drive. Because of his video, I was able to actually see these plushies and knew exactly what they were in the moment I saw them. I picked them up. If you want to see his full video, it'll be in the description below. Anyways, guys, back to my video. Yeah. All right, so let's open these guys up. And I've I've never, you know, I've seen pictures and I've seen a little bit of video, but I've never. So this is out of focus. Yeah. So this is bomb. Yeah. And then we have a green pig and Stella. So let's get these out of the package and uh, let's take a look. So first we have is bomb, and I can easily say he looks a lot different from the more standard bombard plush. It's the Commonwealth design, so it's interesting to see. A slightly altered design. He looks more like the Toons Angry Bird plush. Uh, Angry Bird cartoon series. So yeah, that so far it actually looks pretty nice. So then we have the tag. So this is an official Angry Birds product. So let's see if I can't zoom in on that. Yeah. So good to know that these aren't blue legs, but even if blue legs existed, that would be really cool. So the awesome thing about these plushies is they're reversible, so all you have to do is unzip this, and you fold them out, and this one's really cool because this plush turns into, dun 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 dun, 
firebomb and you know I gotta be honest that looks a little squished but yeah that's actually really cool I would have totally loved having these things during playtime you know you go from the standard Angry Bird plush and then you go to the fire or the Angry Bird space versions of the plush that would have been so freaking awesome as a kid to be able to do that and I'd only have to purchase one bird more or less that is so awesome that's really cool so that's Fire Bomb Bird. That's this is the reason I bought the set. Let's go into the other two real quick. Just a heads up: these plushies are actually a lot bigger than the five-inch versions, but uh, they're not as big as the eight-inch. Well, I'd say they're closer to the eight-inch, but they're still kind of small. So there's something kind of in between. The Hockey Bird is about kind of the same. It's not exactly too big, but not too small either. So just wanted to point that out. Go. Cool. So anyways, oof. So anyways, here's the pig. So let's see what he transforms into. Even though I, I already know. Transforms into a Matilda. <laughs> well, uh, that does look kind of goofy. I'm not gonna lie. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty cool. So kind of have like a imposter angry bird plush and then we have Stella who honestly looks like she has lots of brain damage <laughs> and what does she turn into let's see she has a different face yeah I think of the three this is definitely the lamest one oh well overall still you know, to set the record straight. That's still cool, and that's what her uh, original Commonwealth plush looked like. So it's kind of nice to have a representation of that without actually owning the original Commonwealth, because I actually think it looks pretty ugly. Overall, I think these three plushies are an amazing addition to my collection. Especially the Bombard plush, because it goes from bomb to super bomb to me. I, I would have adored that as a kid. I will admit these are a lot bigger than the 5 inch version so they can't exactly mesh well with them and they do look different but to me their differences are fascinating. They're also a lot smaller than the 8 inch commonwealth plushies like I said earlier. So overall very interesting toy line. I do really wish this came out in the states. I think that would it would have been a runaway success for the most part, but it was it is unfortunate that it was exclusive to Australia only. But if you want to get your hands on these plushies, these three are mine and I'm not selling but Well Alright, I might be selling one of them. But overall these plushies are awesome and a fine addition to my collection. Especially that fire bomb bird. And it's nice to have a pig that can transform into a bird so it could be like an imposter kind of thing. And then that's that's just kind of something I'm throwing in there. And it's nice to have another pig. You know, it's just a little bigger than the rest, but they're all different sizes in the games. So ultimately, an awesome find. And if you can find these plushies, I highly recommend picking them up to, for the hardcore Angry Bird fan or the more casual one. But uh, I will admit they can be a little pricey sometimes, depending on how much you can get them for. If you can even find them to begin with, holy smokes, they're really rare. And the more videos that are made like this that get the word out to other Australians who might be thinking, oh yeah, I can make some money off these stupid Americans, we'll see what happens. So, anyways, that's the Snorinus RT264. So, I'm on Peace. Have a great night.